Testing, one, two, three. Hello, everybody. I'm shooting with a brand new camera. I just got it. It's the Sony RX100 Mark 7. I've been using the Mark 5 for the last couple of years. It's been great, but this one adds a mic input, which I am not using right now. It turns out the built-in microphone on this camera is also way better than the Mark 5. Take a listen. This is the Mark 7. This is the Mark 7. Built-in audio. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what the built-in microphone sounds like on the RX100 Mark 5, the older camera. I'm standing in the same room with the same amount of terrible echo, but the microphone might sound a little worse here. Yeah, so a huge difference. So I'm actually gonna be filming this video with just the built-in camera for now. What are we doing today? Let's see what Wifey Sauce is doing for starters, since she's right here. Cooking up a storm, are we? Oh yeah. Wow. So much food. Invisible pate, my favorite. What, what are you doing in here? Checking out how sharp my knife is that I just sharpened. All right, I have a little tomato here, so it should cut through the tomato pretty easily. Go for it. Ready? Yep. Wow. Ooh, that was oddly satisfying. Yep. 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 That is, that's definitely a real cut. No magic tricks here. This is it a good tomato? Mmm. And tomato tastes really good because of how you cut it. All right, now fix my computer. What do you mean, fix your computer? Well, I'm not sure That's my computer well, I mean, that I let you use because I'm a good husband and you love me and I'm awesome. But you never use this computer anymore. Yeah, you know, I've got 16 computers. I only use one of them. Doesn't everyone? Well, I guess it's not broken. I think it's just in the BIOS and or I, I don't know, really. Honey, you know what that's called. I'm so proud of you. Look at how far you've come. Yeah. This is the Razer Blade, by the way, 2016, I think. Why, why did it boot in here? You just turned the system on and it, mm -hmm. okay. Let's just try exiting. Hopefully that's, <laughs> that's probably all you needed to do, but come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, black screen. Why isn't it loading? It's got a really fast SSD in here. Why isn't it, it should be loaded by now. What did you do? It shouldn't be taking this long to boot. Could be Windows updates. Yep, Windows updates. No wonder I was feeling pissed off. All right, well, the laptop's working now, honey. It's a good thing I'm a genius. Anyway, so what in the hoot and who nanny are we doing today? Well, since I finally have all the security cameras set up around the house, like I've been meaning to for a while now, I figured I would set up a 24 seven live monitoring display. And I have just the display for the job. Hold on, give me a sec. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this big old puppy right here. You remember this guy? Remember this big boy? Whoa! This is one of LG's 4K monitors. It is not a TV, it's a 40 inch, monitor and i actually did a video on this when we were still at the old studio when we had that dedicated office and this was hung directly over the build area that we didn't really end up using much but we have a new purpose for this thing it's going to be really awesome to have a live feed of all of our cameras on a single screen that i can see from pretty much anywhere in this room whether i'm filming a video behind the desk or gaming right here i'll be able to see if any packages are being delivered if anyone's at our front door solicitors someone's trying to rob us or kill us it's going to be a really nice addition to the house and make things feel a bit more secure than they already do why what do you want oh wait wait hold on hold on stick out this is actually a perfect opportunity to test out the new telescopic lens on the RX100 Mark 7. Stick your head out, honey. This thing zooms like a murderer. Hey there, don't move. Look at that zoom, baby. And it's still so crystal clear. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted right now, but back to this. So we're gonna hang this up just above this, this ultra wide monitor here. I'm gonna replace it with the plaque and I'm gonna find a new home for that. Uh, but it's pretty much the only empty wall that I have in here. The next thing you're probably wondering is what system are we gonna connect to this monitor in order to access our controller and view the camera feeds? I am so glad you asked. Let's take another stroll back out here because I did have a plan. Oh, sorry, it's really messy right now. So I was gonna use this. This is an Asus Chrome bit. It's got Chrome OS on it. It's just a little stick PC that connects to your display via HDMI, and it's got DC power as well. Super nice and portable, very compact and convenient. However, when I tested it out yesterday, it was unable to stream all of our live feeds simultaneously. I even lowered the quality settings, the streaming settings uh, of those cameras, and still it just wasn't working out. So that's out of the question, but there's another option. Dun, 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 dun. It's the Intel NUC8. You remember this bad boy? This is a thick boy. Uh, designed for gaming in mind, first and foremost, but it can handle uh, all sorts of things, of course. This is actually one of the units that we used for our LAN party on a plane video, which actually worked out beautifully for our needs. I have a feeling that it'll be uh, much more capable to handle the live streams from our camera feeds uh, than the little Chrome bit over there. So we're going to test it out first. I have not tested it out. Uh, I literally just pulled it from the garage. You can see it still has the, the cheese plate that we used for mounting it to the airplane seats in front of us, along with our little name tag so we didn't get confused on the plane. But this thing's an absolute animal. It's got a Core i7 uh, 8th gen processor, as well as RX Vega graphics on board. So I'm going to fire this up really quick, test it out, and see if it can actually handle our security system. Streaming like a champ. Looking pretty good. Good. completely flawless, super smooth. I was even able to crank up the frame rate and bit rate again, so we're getting the best possible quality with all four cameras that are connected currently. I did want to mention that I did try to use a Raspberry Pi at one point because it's so small and convenient, definitely less bulky than the Intel NUC here. However, the Raspberry operating system, whatever the hell it's called, uh, that's currently loaded on here only has uh, the Chromium browser and it does not support Google Chrome.
Chrome, which is the recommended browser to run Unify Protect. So a bit of a software limitation there. I'm sure I could very well install a different operating system on here that would support it and everything would be perfectly fine, but that's more time. So for me personally, it just makes more sense to go with the Intel NUC for now. The one caveat is that since it's so bulky, it might be a bit more difficult to mount behind our monitor than say a Raspberry Pi, for example. So it might just have to live on my desk for now. And that means I'll need to find a clean way to manage all the cables going from the monitor to the desk, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, won't we? I am digging it. All the cameras support color, by the way. They're just black and white because the infrared just kicked on since it is now nighttime. I really like the way this looks with the setup. It's a nice addition. It definitely fills up that wall space more than the plaque did. However, I wasn't able to center it exactly on the wall. You can see that it's a little bit leaning to the right, just a smidge. That's mainly because I was following where the studs were. This is a very heavy monitor. So being as heavy as it is, I wanted to secure the swivel mount to an actual stud, which means it's veering a little to the right, but that's okay. For now, I'm just happy that this is all up and running. It's working flawlessly. Thank you, Intel Nuck. You can see I left the cheese plate on there. I didn't bother taking it off because uh, it reminds me of that awesome project that we did every time I see it. And it makes the unit very unique. There's no other nuck in the world like it, apart from the other two that we brought on the plane. But they don't count. Like I mentioned, this is a swivel mount, so I can pop the monitor out and turn it and tilt it uh, if I want to, but I kind of just like it where it is right there. It's so big and this room is relatively small, so I don't even need to articulate it really to see it from any point in the room. I also appreciate that this is a monitor and not a TV. So we have a, a pretty nice range of, uh, of IO that uh, you don't really get on a TV. For instance, we're actually connected to the NUC right now via DisplayPort, which just would not happen with the television set. So I like having those options on top of other things like USB downstream and upstream, uh, which this unit also supports. You can see I did a bit of cable management with this little cable channel here. Uh, it's white, blends in relatively well with the background. Obviously a cleaner solution would have been to punch a hole, uh, you know, into the drywall somewhere behind the monitor and then another one underneath the desk and then route the cables behind the wall that way. But this isn't a serious setup. I'm not doing a bunch of B-roll here. It's more of a casual setup, so I'm totally fine with how it is. But you can see that I am kind of bummed and I didn't mount the cable channel low enough so you end up seeing a bit of cable uh, coming through there. You don't really notice it I guess if you're, if you're standing or not really looking for it but but I know it's there and that and that sucks. Underneath the desk isn't too bad for the most part. I've got one of those IKEA uh, trays, those cable management trays. I've had for quite a while. I use these at the old office as well. The only cable you can really see is the power strip going to the wall there. But I think that is going to wrap it up for this quick little video guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry it was a little on the shorter side but hopefully you still enjoyed it. If you did toss a like on it before you go and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pew!